Next we go on to the problem regarding the conduction electrons in copper in a copper wire. We are told that it has a diameter of 1 mm, 1 millimeter and it carries a current of 5 milliamps. Now, we are asked to calculate the average drift velocity. We are given that copper is monovalent elemental copper is monovalent and crystallizes in a face centered cubic structure. with a lattice parameter of 3.61 angstrom. So, these are the data given. So, we know that the current density J is N E V. Therefore, the magnitude average drift velocity is just the magnitude of the current density by N E. And now, J is of course, we are told that it has 5 milliamps current in a diameter of 1 millimeter. So, it is 3.5 into 0.5 into 10 to power minus 4 square that is the diameter that is the radius. So, that gives the value of the current density. We also know from the fact that it has a unit cell which is face centered cubic. Therefore, there are 4 atoms per unit cell and the unit cell volume can be calculated from the given lattice parameter which is 3.61 into 10 to power minus 10 q. That is the volume in meter cube. Therefore, we can calculate the number since there are 4 atoms in the unit cell. So, what is the number of atoms per unit cell? Number of atoms per unit volume that is what we call as n and that turns out to be 8.5 into 10 to the power 28 per meter cube. And since copper is monovalent, this is the number of this is n equal to this, the number of electrons is just equal to this. Therefore, we have the current density, we have this, we know the electronic charge. So, we can readily calculate the drift velocity, which turns out to be the average drift velocity by substitution in this has a value of 4.68. Next, we will take the data for a common metal, a general metal. So, and we are asked to prove calculate the relaxation time, time tau. 
from Drude expression for the electrical conductivity. where tau is the relaxation time. So, tau is inverting this m sigma by m e square. So, we take the data for copper which we already found just now as 8.5 into 10 to the power 28 meter cube n for copper the number of electrons per unit volume and the conductivity is So, using these values, we can readily calculate the relaxation time as 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 14 seconds. So, this is the average time in which the electronic system, the electrons relax back in an electric field. In the next question, we are given a set of correct alternatives answers and then we are asked to choose the correct alternative there may be more than one correct alternative. So, when there is no scattering by phonons, we are told the statement is the electrical resistivity rho of a metal, is it 0, is it infinite or is it independent of temperature? and does it depend on its purity? Obviously, C and D are the correct alternatives.